Hello everyone, it's James in Japan. I'm at Akashi Park and I'm leaving it. And this is my Honda PCX. It's a 125cc, a 2021 model. It's a great city bike to have. You can double ride. It's powerful. The Honda PCX is a great bike to have. But if you want to ride something more powerful, then go for it. Now this video I'm going to talk about how to get your Japanese motorcycle license. What I tell you now is based on my experience years ago. The rules might have changed by now. But anyhow, if you hold an international license, meaning a license from your own country, not the international license that you can temporarily drive in another country, an actual driver's license for a car, you will need to get that license converted into Japanese if you plan to drive in Japan. Assuming you're here in Japan legally and you have your residency card, you will need to go to JAF, Japan Automobile Federation. They will translate your license into Japanese. After you get your completed translation, take it to your nearest Ministry of Transportation in your town and then apply for an automobile license or a motorcycle license. I think you have to do both. In my case, I first got my automobile license and then years later, I decided to apply for a motorcycle license. Once you are at the Ministry of Transportation in Japan, you are going to take a test. It's a written test, or it might be on a computer, a bunch of simple questions in English. I think it's in English, only in English, for international people. And then you're going to take the actual test. So when I first applied for a motorcycle license, I went to the Ministry of Transportation. I submitted my application, paid my fee. Then the clerk gave me a map of the course that I needed to memorize. Also, the clerk gave me the date of my test. The actual road test is on a different day. Anyhow, I had to cross the road and then I had to follow the map. I had to memorize the course so I would... The, the map was a black and white diagram of the course. So I ne needed to memorize the path. There were um, slopes and I had to turn and turn and go around. It's probably hard for you to understand what I'm talking about. When I first got to the course, I saw other people walking around. They looked confused. There was no one to explain to them, but we, well, I quickly caught on. Okay, I just guess I had to memorize the path. And then when I got home, I highlighted the course with different colors. So I memorized the course in my head. And then on the day of the test, before they opened up, I quickly walked around the course before the examiners got there. By the way, the examiners are all Japanese police, so don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be nervous. During the test, the examiners, the police officers, switch on or switch off the traffic lights. And the train bars called the uh, Fumikiri go down or they go back up and if you're really good they'll make it really difficult for you anyway this is the shortcut approach for getting your motorcycle license in Japan another way another way to get your license another way to get your motorcycle license in Japan is to sign up with a Japanese motorcycle school it costs a lot but you are most certain to get your motorcycle license. I heard that they make the tests, 
the actual road tests super easy. In this video, to my left, I am approaching the Akashi License Renewal Center, which is the Ministry of Transportation in Akashi City. Oh, people, a word of caution. Do not record inside the License Bureau, the License Renewal Center, okay? You'll get into trouble. I know because I got into trouble a few years ago. I had my GoPro on my chest and then I realized I needed to turn it off. As I was putting it, putting it away, a bunch of cops swarmed around me and said, what are you doing? The leader of the cops berated me and told me, no recording. And I played dumb. I said, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I didn't know. I was actually putting away my camera, as you can see. Then the police officer said, put it in your bag. Put it all the way down in your bag. Don't take it out. I thought they were going to arrest me. I got a free because I apologized profusely and played dumb. So don't do what I did. The big building to my left is the main building for your driver's license and motorcycle license. And across from this building is the motorcycle testing area. You can see a whole bunch of people lining up over there. Yep, behind that fence, right there. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel. Bye.